Okay, so in this video we're going to look at the deposit needed formula to determine the savings needed um, to come up with uh, a certain uh, a certain lump sum of money. So, what uh, monthly amount should we depo what amount should we deposit in a savings account each month in order to, c to come up with a certain amount of money? So we'll do this example five here and example six. So example five, you want to save ten thousand dollars to buy a car in two years time. Take the APR to be three percent on a savings account. How much money do you need to deposit each month? Okay, so this is an interesting question. Up until now what we've been doing is putting in a certain amount each month and calculating what that will be in a certain amount of time. But it is interesting to ask okay this is what I want to have in two years now how much do I need this to pay every month right so we actually have a formula for that and here's how it goes it goes it, you say that the deposit amount okay or the needed deposit so the monthly deposit equals whatever you're aiming for your goal times R and should we do parentheses or a multiply sign? Oh let's just do multiply sign times R over 1 plus R to the power of T minus 1. Okay. So uh, and your goal of course is kind of like your final balance. So really you're saying this is really the balance if you, if you like. And um, we will go ahead and use this formula first of all and see what the answer is. And then uh, I might just spend a moment to show you how this formula compares to the earlier one, the one before this. So in any case, um, the deposit amount equals the... So this is what we have to figure out is how much money should we deposit each month, right? To get $10,000 in two years time at 3% APR. So our deposit amount is going to equal our goal, which is 10,000, times R. Now what's R equal to? You've got to get R correct and you've got to get T correct if you want to get the answer correct, right? Again, this is... Um, Uh, you're, you're thinking about um, monthly compounding and so what we want to do is figure out the the uh, monthly interest rate okay and so R is the eight the annual percentage rate three percent but the monthly interest rate is three percent over twelve okay or zero point zero three over twelve or zero point zero zero two five, right? And the now of course what's one plus r going to be equal to? One plus r is one point zero zero two five. Okay, and what's t? How many monthly deposits will we be making? So we're talking about two years, so that's, is t equal to two? Or is t equal to two times something, times 12, right? t equals 24, doesn't it? 24 deposits over two years, right? So we know the number of deposits, we don't know what the amount is, that's what we're trying to find. We know we want $10,000, we're going to make 24 deposits over two years. So uh, we've got our $10,000 times R, and R is 0 0.0025, all over the um, 1 plus R to the power of T. Now 1 plus R is 1.0025, T is 24 to the power of 24, then subtract 1. Okay, so calculate that. And in my opinion, best thing would be to calculate the top and then calculate the bottom and then um, 
write write down your answer. So ten thousand times zero point zero zero two five gives me twenty five on the top, and then divide by the bottom, which is one point zero zero two five, and then you can go to the power of twenty four. Press enter, and then subtract one. Press enter, and um, this is the answer okay right now zero point zero six one seven five the the a good way to do this would be now go twenty five and divide by the answer and find an answer button on your calculator and you will come up with four zero four eight one two etc okay uh, and another way of course is just to write down what the bottom is But I would suggest writing the whole thing just to make sure you don't get a rounding error while you're get get an error that's too big while you're calculating. Okay, so if you if you put that in, you know, twenty five divided by zero point zero six one. Um, sorry, seven five seven zero four four. If you put that in. You should get four zero four point eight one two one etc. But if you're rounding, which, which which of course is approximately what to the nearest cent. So that's four hundred four dollars eighty one cent. Okay, but my my point is if you round at this at this part of the stage of the game. And you figure out 25 over something like, you know, uh, 0 0.062, then your answer might be off. 25 divided by 0 0.062. So that's given me 403.23 about. Okay, that's off by quite a bit. 404.81, Don't round numbers that you're using to calculate the answer with. If you're going to round the answer to the nearest cent, that's fine. But does why 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 would you calculate while you're still? Why would you round while you're still calculating? You might as well get the most accurate answer you can and then round that just to make sure, right? So uh, that's something to watch out for. Okay, so uh, really quickly, where does this formula come from and and all that? Well, this is the, the exact reverse of what we've done before. Before we take this amount, we deposit it every month, and, and it accumulates interest until we end up with $10,000, okay? And our previous... Um, our previous formula was that the balance, you see, the balance, or B, it was equal to the deposit times 1 plus R to the power of T minus 1 all over R. Remember that? Okay, and D is for deposit amount, right, D. Um, and so I'm just going to call that um, B, I guess. But but if 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 you do if you know do one little piece of algebra multiply this b both sides by one over d you see if I multiply by one over d I get the balance b over d you see and then these cross these cross cancel and you have um, uh, you know one plus r to the power of t minus one over r okay and you have this fraction equal to this fraction now you can actually flip um, each fraction flip both sides because if you had say two, um, if you had two tenths, right, that's the same thing as one fifth, and I can flip both sides of that equation. Ten over two equals five over one. That's true, isn't it? Ten over two is five over one. So if I want, I can go d over b equals r over one uh, one plus r to the power of t minus one. And now, just for fun, I'm going to multiply by b over 1. And the b's cross cancel, I get d equals uh, b times r all over 1 plus r 
to the power of t minus 1. And so I just wanted to quickly show you where this deposit formula uh, comes from. It's the goal or the final, see this goal here is the final balance we're after times r, so that's the balance, see? The goal is the balance times r, right? And then it's over, you know, your one, oh sorry, then it's over your 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1, okay? That's d for deposit, right? Anyway, let's have a look at example 6, see if you can do this uh, by yourself and actually just... Okay, now we'll have a look at example 6 and by all means um, make sure you use this formula now and you can try and do this one by yourself if you like and um, once again you will not need to memorize this formula on a test it will be given to you on a test Okay. so at your child's birth you begin contributing each month to a college fund putting money in each month the fund pays an APR of 2.7 percent compounded monthly you figure your child will need thirty thousand dollars at age eighteen to begin college. What monthly deposit is required? Okay, so by all means, press pause and try this whole thing yourself. And it'd be, uh, you know, go ahead and make lots of mistakes, and then just check the video, and you'll be able to figure out what you're doing wrong if you do anything wrong. And by all means, if you can get it right, right first, first, uh, first time you try, that's good too. Okay, so we need to use the formula. The deposit equals the goal. What's the goal amount? Figure your child will need $30,000, right? And we're multiplying that by R. Now, what's R equal to? Is R 2.7%? No, we've got to look at a monthly interest rate because we're putting money in every month and there's interest added on to that. Uh, but the the fact is it's it's an APR of 2.7% compounded monthly. The interest is compounded monthly. So we need the monthly interest rate. 2.7% divided by 12, which is 0. 027 divided by 12, which is what? Plug it in your calculator. What do you get? 0 0.00225. Okay. So R equals that. What is 1 plus r equal to? One plus r is 1.00225, isn't it? What is t equal to? How many deposits will we make? Well, let's see. We're talking about um, making a deposit each month, contributing each month, okay? For how many years? From birth to age 18. Is that 18 years? So 18 times